More Jews were killed in a single day than any time since the Holocaust. Now rallies are getting underway all across our state as people show their support for Israel and Palestinians. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us here for the News at Six. I'm Keisha Grant. Tonight we've learned at least 11 Americans are dead and more are missing as the fighting between Israeli forces and the Palestinian militant group Hamas continues. Israel's defense minister has ordered a full siege of Gaza. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has promised to punish Hamas after the group's surprise attack over the weekend killed more than 700 people in Israel. And now the Palestinian militant group is threatening to start executing hostages if Israel bombs civilian houses in Gaza. Back here at home in Connecticut, community groups, along with state and religious leaders, are condemning the violence. Rallies in support of both Israelis and Palestinians are being held across our state. NBC Connecticut's Kevin Geist joining us live from West Hartford with what leaders there are calling for. Kevin. Keisha, every single person I've talked to today has made the call for peace, but experts say the more violence that occurs, the less likely peace is to come. Jewish state and community leaders condemning the attack by terror organization Hamas over the weekend in Israel that killed hundreds and injured thousands. This was an unprovoked attack specifically targeting civilians that shows the true face of Hamas. David Wren, president and CEO of the Jewish Federation of Greater Hartford, calls the images coming out of the country devastating and is gravely concerned with the expected violence to come. There is power in our unity and our solidarity. Gathering here, we give strength to each other and we send a powerful message to the people of Israel. Hundreds gathering outside West Hartford Town Hall, standing with Israel, pushing for continued support of the Israeli government as they fend off the attacks. But some speaking out in solidarity with Palestinians, condemning violence, but saying it is in response to decades of aggression. We know that people have a right to live freely, to enjoy basic human rights. And if they don't, then they're going to try and defend those rights. And that's what's happening here. Farhan Maman makes clear violence is not the answer, but the only way to stop this violence is to end the occupation, which has killed hundreds of Palestinian civilians every year. We should also understand that there were legitimate grievances that the Palestinians had, but this is not the way to address them. Robert A. Sanders with the University of New Haven says the U.S. should always stand firm against terrorism, adding when a large scale attack like this one is carried out, he expects the rift separating peace to only grow larger. So it's not a wrench. It's an it's a it's an anvil right now and a sledgehammer that could be repaired, but that's going to take time again. And when a rift in peace grows, state leaders expressing concern for safety here at home. We need to understand that there is a threat right here in the United States of America. This has been a time of unprecedented anti-Semitic attacks. And it's potentially, if we don't do the things we need to do, at a moment when it could get worse. Now, the rally here in West Hartford ended about an hour ago, but you heard right there state leaders pledging support for Israel, calling it a fight against terrorism. We're live in West Hartford tonight. Kevin Guys, NBC Connecticut News. Keisha, back to you. Kevin, thank you.